Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we are continuing the three-part series called What Sims 4 Packs to Buy. This is the second part, and if you can tell from the title, this one is What Sims 4 Packs to Buy if buy first if you like gameplay. Also, here's what the tier list looks like. Honestly, it's vastly different from the previous video. There are a lot fewer packs in the Don't Buy List tier. Um, but yeah, on to the explanations. For the first tier, there are six packs, and the packs are Get to Work, Cats and Dogs, Seasons, Discover University, Get Famous, and Parenthood. For the first pack of the first tier, which is Get to Work, the pros are that you can become a detect or a, doc a doctor, a detective, or a scientist. You can own retail businesses. There are active careers, um, you can discover aliens, and there are two new skills, which are discovery, or sorry, <laughs> photography and baking. For the second pack of the first tier, which is cats and dogs, the pros are that you can have pets, that there's a new skill, which is pet training, that there's a new aspiration, which is friend of the animals, and that there's two new traits, which is, um, which are cat, uh, cat lover and dog lover. Also, um, you can become a vet, vet and run a clinic. There's a new world to explore, which is called Brindleton Bay, and there are tons of new townies to meet. For the third pack of the first tier, which is Seasons, the pros are that you um, can celebrate, uh, like, you know, there's new festivities and activities for your Sims. You can celebrate holidays, you can create holidays and plan events easier with the calendar. And that's really all for seasons. Um, for Discover University, the, um, sorry, for the fourth pack of the first year, which is Discover University, the pros are that you can earn 13 different degrees, that there are some townies to meet, there's a new world to explore, which is uh, called Brightchester, there's a new aspiration, which is the academic aspiration, there are two new skills, which are robotics and research and debate, there are six new careers, and those careers are education, engineer, esports competitor, law, and soccer team player. Also, you can join clubs. For the fifth pack of the first tier, which is Get Famous, the pros are that there are two, or there are three new active careers, which is a YouTuber, musician, and actor. And then um, there's a new world to explore, which is called Del Sol Valley. There are new townies to meet. There is um, a new feature, which is fame and reputation. And there are, there are two new skills, which are acting and media production. There are two new aspirations, which are world famous celebrity and master actor, and there's a new trait, which is self-absorbed. Um, for the sixth pack of the first tier, which is parenthood, the pros are that there's a new skill, which is parenting. Duh. Um, <laughs> uh, for uh, yeah, for the second pro, which is um, that there is a new aspiration, which is a super parent. Um, the third pro is that um, you can shape your child's childhood by giving them certain traits by how you raise them. You know, you can make them responsible, unresponsible, good at their, or good at controlling their emotions, and so on and so on. And also, there is tons of new family activities. Um, that. Wait, yeah, that's all for the first tier, on to the third tier. Also, before I start the second tier, I should probably say that almost all of the cons are just that the things in, that the packs add normally focus on like one single theme, and if you don't like that theme, you will not like the pack. Okay, yeah, that's really all I wanted to mention before I started the second tier. On to the second tier. <laughs> For the second tier, there are three packs, and the packs are City Living, Get Together, and Journey to, to Batu. For the first pack of the second tier, which is City Living, the pros are that there is a new world to explore, which is San Maishuno, there are festivals to go to, there are new townies to meet, there are TLC apartments and penthouses, um, there are ac new active careers, um, which are uh, social media influencer, politician, and critic. Um, there's a new aspiration, which is city native. There are new traits, which are 
unflirty and vegetarian, and there's a new skill, which is singing. And the one con is that all of the new stuff is social specific, and it's mostly about, um, you know, being with other sims and stuff. Um, for the second pack of the second tier, which is Get Together, the pros are that you can join, or you can create and join clubs, that there are new townies to meet, there is a new world to explore, which is called Wienenberg, there are new skills, which is uh, DJing and dancing, there are two new traits, which are Dance Machine and Insider, um, there's a new aspiration, which is Leader of the Pack, and there are new activities, you know, like new placeable activities, which is a foot or which are foosball jumping platforms to jump into a pool and bonfires. Um, the one con is that all of the stuff is, um, all of the new stuff is social specific, similar to, um, city living. Um, also, before I say the explanation for uh, Journey to V2, I'd like to mention that you should only buy this pack if you like Star Wars or have money you want to spend. Um, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, but for the third pack of the second tier, which is Journey to to Journey to Batu, the pros are that um, there is a new world to explore, which is Batu. There are new townies to meet. There are factions and missions. There are droids. There's gambling, and there's two new aspirations, which um, is which are Galactic Privateer and Hope versus Order. Um, and the one con is that it is all about Star Wars, just like I mentioned earlier. Just like I mentioned, it is it is all about Star Wars. Like, just just big old disclaimer right there. Um, but yeah, that's all for the second tier. On to the third tier. For the third tier, there are five packs, and the packs are Jungle Adventure, Dine Out, Vampires, Realm of Magic, and Island Living. For the first pack of the third tier, which is Jungle Adventure, the pros are that there is a new world to explore, which is Silver Dorada. There are new townies to meet. There are two new skills, which are Silver Silverdoradian culture and archaeology. Um, and there are two new aspirations, which are archaeology scholar and jungle explorer. Um, also, you can explore the jungle, go on vacation, and there are street vendor tables. Um, but yeah, the con is that um, most things are quite jungle specific besides the street vendor tables. So, um, yeah. <laughs> For the third pack of- oh, sorry. Did I skip? Oh, okay, I think I- <laughs> oopsies. Um, for the second pack of the third tier, which is Dine Out, the pros are that you can create in on restaurants, um, there are new places- there, there's a new place for sims to hang out at, and you can experiment, experiment with new food. Um, but yeah, obviously the con is that most things are food specific. Um, for the third pack of the third tier, which is vampires, the pros are that there is a new world to explore, which is Forgotten Hollow. There is a, there's new townies to meet. There are two new aspirations, which are good vampire and master vampire. There are two new skills, which are um, the pipe organ organ skill and the vampire lore skill. Also, you can be a vampire, which I think is pretty cool, honestly. Um, yeah, but the con is that most things are vampire specific. Um, for the fourth pack of the third tier, which is Realm of Magic, the pros are that there's a new world to explore, which is called Gr Glimmer Book. There are new townies to meet. There are two new aspirations, which are Spellcraft and Sorcery and Purveyor of Potions. Also, there are familiars, which, you know, are like dragons, phoenixes, cats, maybe dogs. Um, there are spellcasters, which is a new life state where you can learn magic spells and brew potions. Um, also, there is inherited spellcaster traits, weak, strong, and ancient. Um, and then there's perks and curses. Um, for the con, uh, which is um, that most things are magic specific. For the fifth pack of the third tier, which is Island Living, the pros are that there is a new world to explore, which is called Sulani. There are new town townies to meet. 
You can be a mermaid, there's beaches, there's a new aspiration, which is beach life, um, and there's a new career, which is con con conservationist. There are three new part-time jobs, which are diver, fisherman, and lifeguard, and there are two new traits, which are child of the islands and child of the ocean. Um, but the con is that most things are ocean specific. Um, that is all for the third tier, on to the fourth tier. For the fourth tier, there are five packs, and the packs are Snowy Escape, Spa Day, Outdoor Retreat, Strangerville, and Nifty Meeting Stuff. Um, for the first pack of the fourth tier, which is Snowy Escape, the pros are that there is a new world to explore, which is called Mount Karambi. There, there are new townies to meet, there are three new skills, rock climb, which are rock climbing, skiing, and snowboard, snowboarding. There are two new traits, which are adventurous and proper. There are two new aspirations, which are extreme sports enthusiast and a Mount Karambi sightseer. There's a new career, which is salary person. There are spending machines, hot springs, and lots more of outdoor activities, which include hiking, sledding, and snowboarding. Um, and the con is that most, thing, most things are snow specific and involving, you know, out, outdoors and nature and stuff. Um, for the second pack of the fourth tier, which is spa day, the pros are that you can go to spas, duh, um, and that there's a new skill, which is the wellness skill, um, and that you can have home spas. And the one con is that most things are self-care specific and relating to fitness and stuff like that so just a little warning um for the third pack of the fourth tier which is outdoor retreat the pros are that there's a new world to explore which is granite falls there are new townies to meet um you can go camping there is a new skill which is herbalism and the con is that most things are camping specific and you can really only do them in the outdoor retreat um area in the world sorry um, for the fourth pack of the fourth tier, which is Strangerville, the pros are that there is a really fun storyline, you can fight the mother plant, there's a new world to explore, which is Strangerville, there are new townies to meet, there's a new trait, which is Paranoid, there's a new aspiration, which is Strangerville Mystery, and there's a new career, which is Military. Um, and the con is that most things are based around the storyline, and if you don't really like the story, then you won't want to buy this. For the fifth pack of the fourth tier, which is Nikki Knitting, the pros are that there's a new skill, which is knitting, there's a new aspiration, which is Lord slash Lady of the Knits, there's Plopsy, which is basically just a Sims version of Etsy, um, there's new items for the core, and the two cons are that most things are about knitting and it is $10. Um, for, yeah, okay, sorry, that is all for the fourth tier, on to the fifth tier. For the fifth tier, there are three packs, and the packs are Spooky Stuff, Machina Stuff, and Eco Lifestyle. For the first pack of the fifth tier, which is Spooky Stuff, the pros are that you can celebrate Halloween, that there are um, that you can carve pumpkins, and that there are Halloween parties. Um, the one con is that it is ten dollars to just celebrate Halloween, basically. Um, for the second pack of the fifth tier, which is Machino stuff, the pros are that there is a new freelance career, which is fashion photography, and that there um, and that it adds more to photography. And the con is that it's like ten bucks for one new career, and if you don't really like photography, then this won't be for you. Alright, oh, sorry, for the third pack of the fifth tier, which is Eco Lifestyle, the pros are that there's a new world to explore, which is Evergreen Har Harbor, that there are new townies to meet, that there are new skills, which are fabrication and juice fizzing, that there are four new traits, which are Freedom, Green Fiend, um, Maker, and Recycle Disciple. There are two new aspirations, which are Eco Innovator, in Innovator and Master Maker. There's a new career, which is Civil Designer. Um, you can make furniture. There are neighborhood action plans, and there are solar panels and rainwater collectors. And the one con is that all things are environment specific and stuff like that. And honestly, the reason, another reason why I put this so low is because honestly, everybody in the Sims community has been really not like 
really expressing a lot of just not liking this pack. So I was like, hey, most people don't like this, so you might not either. Um, but yeah, so that's all for the fifth tier. On to the sixth tier. Uh, just to summarize the sixth tier, because it has like nine packs in it. Basically, all the packs add a new place to go or a new activity for your sim, sim to do. Um, and for the don't buy this tier, the summary is just that they're not worth your money. Um, but yeah, that's all folks. Um, I hope this helps solve all your pack buying problems. Also, I will be coming out with the third and final part of this video topic, which is what packs, what Sims packs, um, Sims 4 packs to buy in the, or if you like create a Sim. I don't know why, but in the script I wrote that entirely wrong. Sorry for that. Um, in two weeks on February 21st at 4 p.m. Pacific, Pacific Standard Time. Thank you so much for watching and peace.